Hello, all of you gamers, professional and casual out there in the world. I am Mega Amster, and I wanted to make this quick video because this news just came out today. And don't worry, I'm going to have a live reaction ready to go for Wednesday. But in case you haven't heard, um, on Wednesday, August 10th, starting at 6 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Eastern time, pretty early, but I'm sure it's for the Japanese crowd, really, um, in terms of the timing there. They, Nintendo is going to have a Splatoon 3 Direct. They're saying roughly half an hour of Splatoon 3 updates. Now, I am super, super excited for this Direct because, I mean, I figured, I think a lot of people figured that Nintendo was going to have a Splatoon 3 focused Direct in August this month. I didn't think it was going to be this early. I mean, I guess the game does launch in pretty much exactly a month, right? September 9th, I think, is the release date right now. Um, so the game does launch in about a month, so... It's not like they would wait till the September Direct, the game would be out already. And, you know, of course we know that Nintendo did not have a full general Direct with first party updates in June. They had their third party partner showcase, and then they also had updates for Bayonetta 3, Mario Kart 8 with the DLC, and the Kirby Dream Buffet game, which nobody's mentioning Kirby Dream Buffet. It's like everybody forgot about that. I'm like, dude, I'm hyped for that game. I am excited. Hopefully, I hope it's this month. They said summer, so I'm hoping it drops later this month. But anyway, so <laughs> more on Splatoon 3, we don't want to get off track here. I am really hyped for this presentation. Because I am, right now, I am not sold on Splatoon 3. I know I just had my video about not being sold on Pokemon Scarlet Violet. I'm also not, f I'm more sold on Splatoon 3, slightly. But I'm not quite there yet. And this is coming from someone who is a very, very, very casual, I'm a casual gamer, a casual Splatoon gamer, right? I'm not a massive fan of the games. I played the original Splatoon on Wii U, and it was honestly really fun. The multiplayer, I'm not good at, and it has such a high skill ceiling to the point where I just don't have a ton of fun. Occasionally, once in a while, I'll have fun, but very rarely is it that, like, fun for me. And it's honestly, it can be pretty uh, aggravating sometimes just because I'm not that good and I didn't play enough. But the single player was great. I loved what they did with the single player. And just the concept, Nintendo always does this with their franchises, is, like, taking a common, commonly done type of game, like a third-person shooter in this case, and just putting their own twist on it and making it feel fresh. And I mean, fresh is like the literal theme of Splatoon. You know, when that came out, I remember originally when I was coming out, they were showing E3 coverage. I was like, what, E3 2014? I was like, this game looks dumb. They're showing it a lot. As soon as I got my hands on it the year after, I was like, this is awesome. You know, I was absolutely in love with the gameplay, especially for the campaign. Just really, really fun game overall. Um, and I never, I didn't pick up Splatoon 2, actually. I did not pick up Splatoon 2. Let me lower this audio just a tiny, tiny bit. I didn't pick up Splatoon 2 ever. I considered it. I definitely didn't get it at launch. And I considered it later on, you know, when they added the Octo expansion and everything. It's part of the online uh, expansion pass now. You just get it for free, which is cool. And that's been tempting, and it's been on sale every now and then. But I just never got it. I think my big thing was, like... I heard it was fairly similar to Splatoon 1. It almost felt like a Splatoon 1.5 to a lot of people. I know the multiplayer is completely different. They add new elements and everything, new sub weapons and weapons and stages and all of that, of course. But especially for someone like me, who is all kind of mostly in it for like the campaign and the modes outside of just the core multiplayer ranked or even casual in some cases. Casual is more fun. I hate the ranked in Splatoon. I really do. Um, as for, some, for someone like me who's more focused on the single player stuff, like Splatoon 2, from what I heard, didn't really change up a whole lot from Splatoon 1. They did add Salmon Run, which I will admit did look pretty fun, but it just it wasn't enough for me to end up picking up the game. And now, even with the announcement of Splatoon 3 back in February of 2021 in that direct, I was just like, yeah, there's no point in me getting Splatoon 2 like ever now. I am curious to see if they add something new, because as far as we know, I mean, there's the whole mammalian thing going on with the single player. Um, it looked a little open. We saw a tiny clip of what seemed to be the single player campaign in that initial reveal trailer. And or that could even be just the very beginning of the game before you get to the new Engoblis stage. We have no idea. That also could be what it is. That probably is what it is thinking about it. We don't really know much about the single player, I feel like. Um... I've heard Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion is really good, so if this single player is anything like that, that might be enough to entice me. They did show off more Salmon Run. They added some new enemies and stuff that looked cool. Multiplayer, same thing. But, like, it's still... And I know... Okay, just to clarify for people, I know that there are several differences with Splatoon 3 compared to 2. For someone like me, though, who is mostly, like, going to get this game for the single player content, or, like, Salmon Run, for instance... It's nice that I have that option because I never played Splatoon 2. Salmon Run and like a lot of the single player stuff might be fresh for me already. 
but I'm really waiting for the, no pun intended, the hook from this game to really get me invested and really want to buy this because I want to buy this game. Like Splatoon has always been an interesting franchise to me that I personally would like to check out more. I love the world and the theming that got going on and it has so much style. I love games that have this kind of style. The music, oh, the Splatoon music is phenomenal. Like I love the soundtrack. I love this aesthetic. It reminds me of like Jet Set Radio has the same kind of aesthetic, you know what I mean? So I love this kind of theming that got going on in this game. I just, I really want to try it out and I want to buy it. Like I just, I'm hoping, especially because this is a month before release, I'm hoping there's like something with this single player or another separate mode too, I would be cool with like a new unique mode. Like when they added Salmon Run to Splatoon 2, something along those lines, maybe focus a little more on single player. I don't know, but that would be awesome, especially because I don't know, it would just be nice for me personally. I know I'm being selfish with this. I'm sure people who are super competitive with like the multiplayer or just, you I mean, enjoy it casually. I'm sure they're going to have a blast with this game. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. It looks great. It looks even way better than Splatoon 2 and pretty much everything from 2 seems to be returning. I'm just hoping there's like one little extra push of something here. So I, that's why I'm personally excited because this Direct has the potential to really sell me on this game and I would love to play it, honestly, because it's been so long since I played Splatoon 1 and I never played 2. I would love to get back into Splatoon with this game. It, I have more of an incentive because I skipped 2, but also I just, I'm hoping there's something, like one extra thing that hooks me. I don't know if there will be, and if there's not, I mean, I'll have to decide. I still might pick it up anyways, but I'm just excited to see what they show off here because this is probably going to be the big blowout. I mean, they've already done a little piecemeal here and there, but this is where they're really going to dive into more details. We'll probably get a look at everything in some regards, Salmon Run multiplayer. I would hope the campaign, especially because I feel like that's what we have the least details on out of anything. We know it's the return of the mammalians, but what is that? How far is that going to go? You know, I'm curious to see. Um, we'll probably see new weapon types. We'll probably see new salmon and enemy types if they have more. I don't know. It's fashion, of course. It's Splatoon loves to show that off. New stages and music, I hope. It's just, this has the potential to be a really good presentation. And I'm glad they're making it a separate thing to really highlight. They could have had a general direct and shown this off, but it's also good to wait, I think, till now and then give it its own half an hour segment to really show this game off. This has the potential to be a really cool game. It's already going to sell super well. We already know that. But for me, I just, <laughs> I'm being a little selfish and I'm hoping this one little extra thing to really get me in there. Uh, but we will have to see. This is going to be on August 10th. Like I said, 6 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Eastern time. Literally for me, I'll technically be on work, but I will try to set up a live reaction. And hey, any of you that want to join in, watch me live while I do it, feel free to. The VOD will be up on here, this channel anyways, on YouTube. So you can watch it there afterwards for the reaction. But that is going to do it for this quick little video. I say quick little video, and I already managed to make this eight minutes. I don't know. I just... I can talk too much. I got to cut it off at some point. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you did, always super appreciated. Like I said, I'll be doing a live reaction to this on the Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Probably go live like maybe 10, 15 minutes beforehand. Um, and then if you're interested in my other live streams, I'm currently streaming Shantae and the Seven Sirens. At some point, I am going to do an Elden Ring stream. Just one, Peñata. If you're watching this, just one, just for you. Um, but yeah, my main game I'm playing now is Shantae. Otherwise, I usually stream Nintendo, maybe some other psycho stuff. Occasionally, I'll get a little uh, variety in there. But for now, we'll have to see how this goes. Like I said, I'm super excited. I will react to this, and hopefully, we see some good stuff. We'll, I'm sure we'll see some good stuff regardless, but hopefully, we get something good. And we'll just have to wait and see. Until then, have a good one. Take care. Thank you again for watching. As always, I will catch you all on the next video or live stream. Bye-bye for now. Be a kid or a squid. You choose. Stay fresh.